body language intelligence for photographers. Your career choice isn't a coincidence. One of your unconscious desires must be helping people see themselves in a new light. The outer world is a reflection of the inner world and other people's perception of you reflects on them. Your response to them is an awareness of you. The Light in the Heart by Roy T. Bennett. I believe the above quote applies to all photographers. After all, images represent truth and enlightenment. From the first permanent photograph made on a camera in 1825 by Joseph Niepce using a sliding wooden box camera to the latest selfie in portrait or HDR mode, photography has changed the world. Since the invention of photography, concepts and realities have changed. The last two centuries have been the most exciting, as thanks to photography, we can document the history of mankind. We're virtually celebrating 200 years of photography as a science and art. We owe everything we know about this world to a photographer, a videographer, and of course, an author. From the hidden world of the creepy microscopic bugs in our lashes to the Hubble Space Telescope images of the eye of the creation Helix Nebula, we have even tapped into the spectra concealed from our human eyes like infrared and X-ray. Our awareness has developed immensely with the invention of still and moving pictures. We respond strongly to visual stimulation and our brains can form ideas, responses, thoughts and creations and reactions based on what we see even in a picture. We've all heard how the first 15 seconds of an impression can last forever. Is it true? Is it fair? How can we ace this impression and be ourselves at the same time? What version of ourselves should we introduce? Are we even comfortable revealing who we are? This book leads you to understand how people's body language and facial expressions change with their thoughts and feelings. Still, we're unique individuals and we all have different ways in revealing and concealing ourselves, similar to how we all have other love languages. We have a mix of moves and activities to express who we are, what we want and where we're going. Some of those expressions can be facial movements, involuntary gestures, vase tonality, speech speed, body language, and much more. What goes on in our bodies on the cellular level is hidden, but it leads to several muscle movements, something that we can actually see. What we're trying to do here is to dissect those motions and concentrate on the visible signs. Once you listen with your eyes, you'll find everything you need to hear. However, this book is not only for understanding the nonverbal communication of other people, it will also help you understand yourself. Truly, not knowing yourself is not an option anymore. Awareness is a global sensation, and being able to express yourself nonverbally is an instinctive art that we all have mastered. After all, we communicate nonverbally daily. 75% of our communications are nonverbal. Yet, while this art is expressed widely, it isn't interpreted correctly. Do environmental circumstances and culture affect nonverbal communication? Absolutely. This is a part of the reason for the translation mistakes between the cultures. To be able to read and perceive intended meaning of nonverbal communication, you need to dig deep into our natural history, our brain, and our instinctive responses. Once you've mastered the art of reading others, you'll be able to help them bring the best version of ourselves in front of your camera. Other than mastering that technical aspect, what makes a photograph exceptional? We're living in the medieval time of the photography standards. Let's face it, any photographer who has been trained well in either a workshop or at an art studio will tell you that this is the rock bottom for photography as an art. It used to be worth a thousand words and now it's pretty bankrupt. Why? Supply and demand. There's an excessive supply of photography, and even though the standards for decent photographs have lowered significantly, the demand is still there. But with such low standards, the value of photographs have gone downhill. You hear it all the time from photographers. I'll take 100 photos and one of them must come out okay, right? Well, no. Focus. Anchor your purpose for this photo shoot. Know what you're doing and the why behind it. Then start enjoying the experience of helping people reveal their best selves. 
In today's world, most images are cropped, edited, or retouched with an instant filter. We're capable of faking many aspects of an image aesthetically. However, we cannot add a filter of an authentic expression or body post posture or a cluster of body movement combined to materialize strength, confidence, and authenticity. We can't fake the character or energy of a person in a photograph. This has to be done authentically through body language and expression. That's an essential and intrinsic piece of information that everybody disregards. It's crucial for us to control our body language, whether we're in front or behind the camera. Body movement communication is known as kinetic communication. Gestures and facial expressions are branches of this kinetic energy. Nonverbal communication is expressed through behaviors using any part of the body. It also includes using the whole body as a communication method. Whether we're aware of it or not, it's how we communicate. This knowledge is as essential for the subject being photographed as for the photographers. Photography is an art that stirs your emotion, and every photograph we look at is the chance for us to connect with the person in the picture. Every photograph we put out there of ourselves to the world is a chance to be authentic and show people who we really are. Long Gone is the portrait of the perfect human showing the perfect teeth in the perfect setting. People want you to be you and not who you think you should show them. The more important the portrait is, the more challenging it is to take a powerful one. A quality portrait portrays the right expression and body language that stirs emotion in us where we don't want to look away from it. When a hundred clicks to get a halfway decent photo is the standard in this industry, we oversee body language and instead we see controversial or interesting or different or spontaneous, I mean, poses that dominate the internet with no regards to emotion, that's the problem. Those photographs are neither timeless nor powerful, nor do they stir the right emotion. To move the viewer of these photos, we need to emote through our facial expressions and our posing. In other words, we need to use body language. After the technical aspects are mastered in photography, mastering posing is the right next step. Natural cohesive body language is the key to good portrait, starting with the eyes, the neck, the hands, the hips, the legs, and the feet. You can't overlook anything, even the arch in the back and the captivating facial expression. Those are elements that make a portrait. However, most photographers struggle to bring the right body language out of their clients. It's not an easy task to help someone own the camera and make it work for them. We've all had cameras directed at us and immediately our thoughts are bounced out and right and left and the freak out face comes out like we're so used to this. It requires certain skills to escape this uncertain look, skills every photographer should have.